Um, this is the easiest way through, I think. So I'm not sure how long this game is, uh, but oh, hello. This is still the new girl. I guess that's not Rui. So I guess she's just fucking unrelated. Uh, once we're done with this, we will be revisiting Fran Bow. Fran Bow. Fuck. Fran Bow. Um, I don't know if there's a way to do like a, a chapter reset on that game. Because we stopped. That was the last game on Extra Life. And I basically don't know what we were doing. We were on a mountain or something. And there was time. There was time travel. Jesus Christ. This guy can move. Uh, Rui, are you gonna, like... Yeah? Are you good with this? You're happy to stand in there, huh? Doing all right, damage-wise. Didn't need to do that yet. It's fine. Oh, yeah, Rui, just keep him baited. <laughs> Thank you. It's great. You're doing great. Can't even seem to see the ghost, but you're doing fine. Is he dead? He's dead. Well, he's he's dead again. You did a. Can you not see that? How do you not see that? For fuck's sake. You was loud and large. It's not like... I don't know. I don't know if Ren's special in any way. I don't think he is. Yuri actually shows some sort of potential or some bullshit. But Ren is just like a dude. Hey, cutscene. Hey, let's start. I was hiding in plain sight. You found me. Hmm. Is she the one you stabbed? Well, slashed? How you doing? It's been years. You have an age today. Did you lose it? My token? But our promise. Oh my god, our promise is when we're like six. Ugh, how did you not keep your promise from being a small child? How dare. Did you see her that time? No? Just saying sensei? Oh, I see. To Womb Cavern. God, that's a good name. I really like that name. Oh yeah, but uh, to finish my earlier thought, I would like to finish Rambo, because that game is really interesting. It's a good puzzle game. Thanks, you know, I've been waiting. What? For someone to choose me, I've been waiting so long for you. What? Yeah, what the fuck are you on about? It's not important. I understand now. What true love is? Well, I don't understand at all. The girl, she's been waiting too, for the person with her token. Well, Ren doesn't have any fucking tokens. Also, Ren is going to refuse to have any further conversation on this topic. Why would you ask questions? That just slows you down. Fuck. Just always waiting for that hand. I don't think we can get through this door. No, it won't budge. It's too heavy with paper.
Oh boy. It's this room. Now we are soaked. And we feel miserable. Which will make us weak to ghosts. Actually, no. Our soak meter, our wet meter, is not filled. Strangely. Not really sure why getting your feet wet doesn't count. There's a partially open box submerged in the water. It looks like it's filled with dark water. I will choose to not investigate further for reasons. Door's locked. The camera obscure is reacting to it. Where are we going? It's to an open box that should be behind me. Uh, but it's not. So I think I need to stand... Somewhere, like, over here? Where does it want me to stand? It was definitely, to, like, that was to the right. Hmm. But I can't really crouch. Let's take a look at that picture again. Nope. We'll find the right menu eventually. Can't remember if it was in photographs. No? Is it in records? Ah, yes. It's under records and tokens. Okay. So I have two of these in the shot, two of these boxes, one on the far left, one right bottom frame, and on the top right is the exit crawl hole. Got it. It'd be cool if I could hold that up while I was doing this. Oh, is that one going to open? Wait a minute. Is there anywhere else for me to stand? I need to, like, crouch. Hmm. Oh, hello. Am I taking too long? Yes. I'm apparently taking too long. So this does answer my earlier question like a week ago of, do ghosts just show up if you're just kind of dicking around? Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, I thought it was our teammate, but no. The, the dead one, we're hearing her cries of death. Yeah, four. There she goes. Fucking die already, Jesus. Okay. Something feels odd here. Oh fuck, whoopsie. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to go to my, my records again. Oh, okay, now that I checked this one, that one opens. I don't know why. That doesn't seem to be related. Hey, lady. That's a really good combo move. It also doesn't, the four shot, oh God, oh God. The four shot combo doesn't seem to take any charge up. Hey, girl. Oh, she's, she's already dead. We don't have charge with Ren's camera, and that's odd to me. 
Oh, what is this? Is this a key? It's an old metal plate key. <laughs> to the door we're next to. Thanks, game. Thanks for holding my hand. I thought for sure we'd have to match the picture with our, uh, like, the angle thing that we've been doing a few times. But I guess not. What? Where are we? We just fucking teleported. What the fuck? Where did we cut? Did it lead out of a cave or something? There's a path here. Oh, okay. It just it just leaves the mountain. Don't worry about it. Someone there? I mean, I'm here. I need basic film at this point. That's not basic film. What are we at? We're at 18, which is... We can have a couple fights with that, but not... Probably not three. Three fights might be too much. Unless we get, like, only fatal frame shots, and even then... Okay, so this is where that video took place. This is where the folklorist should be. Uh, let's say hello to the TV. Hello, TV. Are you little nightmares? Oh, no. I'm interrupting someone's TV time. Is this the guy who was in the, uh, in the attic? Sir? Sir, are you homeless? I think this good man is homeless, which is a shame. Gotta shut your TV up. You can't afford that that electricity bill, sir. Come on. All right. Didn't I only have 18 shots? Why do I have 16 now? Do fatal shots, fatal frame shots, not count? The old television just switched on. The screen is blurred with static. I can't make anything out. Now, I don't have cable, so I'm not really, uh, I don't really have first-hand experience with this. But apparently static isn't a thing anymore on modern television. Because you don't connect to things the way you used to. Uh, so you, on a modern TV, it's all digital, right? You, you will never have static like that. It doesn't exist. It's a, it's a thing for old people to remember. Powerful force. Uh, and I thought that was kind of an interesting fact. I never thought about it. Um, and whenever I turn my TV on, it just says, like, the no signal thing until I turn on, like, I don't know, my Switch or my my computer that I use for, like, Netflix. Oh, almost got me. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's... I was doing really bad with that the other day. It seems maybe easier now. It's also a power powerful force. Oh, we're locked in. We can't leave now. Fun. So the young ones, the young kids are gonna be like, oh, it's a spooky TV. Because it's spooky. And that's the only reason, right? Just like the floppy disk is just the save icon and no one knows why. What is that old relic? What is that symbol? What is it from? There is a peculiar custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious, yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered. But why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain my home. You could have just asked around and been like, why do you like water here so much? And they're like, because we do, bro. And they'd be like, oh, okay. Uh, my friend's hands weren't really... Oh, shit. Some 90 film. A household altar has been enshrined at the top of the wall. The wood in this room is blackened and gives off, gives off an odd smell. 
Whoop, whoop. Come on, Ren. We'll say once in a while, uh, the, the controls just get weird. Like, I, I try to push him in a direction and he, like, starts to spin around. You're too late. I'm, I'm already married. I've already consummated the marriage, Ren. There's no going back now. Ren, you put the phone. Put the phone down. Sakaki-san, deska? Kore wa sensei no mite ita shashin to onaji. It's just like that picture you were looking at. Sakaki. Oh, is it a uh post-mo? Oh no. It's exactly the same picture from that photo album. Did Kazuya come here because of it too? Hop. The living and the dead, bound by ceremonies of ghost marriage. What? What bullshit is ghost marriage? What are you talking about? What are you... <laughs> what are you actually talking about? There's no such thing as ghost marriage. Alright. You can't get married if you're dead, it's the law. Talk to your local representatives if you want to change that. Send a letter to your senator, or whatever you have in Canada. I guess you could talk to your undead senator? Is he dead? He's dead. Uh, speaking of dead, de I, I don't know how to segue this. We need to check our camera and see if we can make it better. Uh, attack distance, load speed, damage. Did we not upgrade his camera? I swear we did. I swear we did. Oh, I didn't even look at this. Shit. Close the enemy down while taking photos using the four continuous photo feature. I mean, we do a lot of damage now, but utility is nice too. What's this? It's a box. Is it the Tinder thing? Not that Tinder. Embers. I don't think ghosts pay taxes, so they don't need government to approve their marriage. Ah! Maybe that's why the government won't approve their marriage, because they won't pay taxes. It's circular, you see. The ghosts need to get a job. Sacred water. Couldn't they be... Could they really not be fucked to put the item in the drawer that would appear? Like, could they really not just put the item there? I think this game is pretty solid overall. There's a couple things where it's like, come on, you fucks. There are two memorial tablets and a Buddha statue on the altar. Yeah, the ghosts are going to take our jobs. The skull hangs in the alcove. The surface is too tattered for me to see what was on it. Looks like it used to be a peacock. I can make that out. Ren, you're... You could probably fucking figure it out better. I mean, to be fair, a ghost doctor sounds like pretty good deal. Like, you just have the ghost poke their face into the, into the patient and be like, Ah, I see it, and then the real doctor does the work. You have... You start to have a naming schema of, like incorporeal doctors and physical doctors. It's like, ah, an incorporeal doctor can do a good diagnosis, but, you know, you need a physical doctor if you actually want to take care of that. Ghosts have a problem where, oh god, where sometimes during surgery they fade out of existence for a while, so, like, then you're left, you know, open. So that's why physical doctors are preferred for that. Can make a, We can make a great anime about this. That'll be, why did that stop? We can make a great anime. Don't even worry about it. Oh. Oh, I get an achievement for that time. I'm, I'm curious. I gotta, I gotta know. What, what is it? Dodged a ghost hand five times. Oh, we're so good at video games.
What am I reaching for? There was nothing. There was nothing there. There was uh, postmodern photography made its way over from the west along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped surviving family members deal with their grief. The postmodern photographs that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their western counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here in, in the Mount Hikami region, especially, seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe these photos were the work of a scientist named Kunihiko, uh, Kunihiko Aso. Having researched photos from other areas as, areas as well, it seems he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe he had some degree of success in doing so. An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. My friend was an idiot. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. At any rate, I found those words have a certain resonance, because I'm also dumb. I wonder if Fatal Frame would ever make a... Oh, that picture. From the moment I let her draw me in, the union was already complete. I guess a folklorist. I must go. My wife needs me. Can't keep... I can't just keep waiting until it's too late, even if I risk ruin. What you reaching for, Ren? More notes. The waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is the source of this mountain's beauty, as well as its sense of mystery. According to, the local According to local tradition, Mount Hakami is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot, and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hakami sect taught that, upon dying, people return to the water. Here on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to the water upon death rather than moving on to an afterlife. That seems like a bad thing. Those ready for death would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at this scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That's fucked up. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. I mean, sure, that last statement isn't, like, untrue. I would just like to see a single character be like, these people should stop doing this. Like, any any individual in the entire game, I want one of them to say, this shit is fucked. Don't do this. Bad. The bookshelves in this room are packed with countless books. It must have been an art time. Now, we have a cassette... Do we have a cassette player? Um... To is it a token? No. Wow, we have found a lot of fucking notes. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I think we have to hear this, or listen to the, yes, yeah, so let us hear this. I think we have to listen to this back, uh, at the, uh, store? At the office? I think it's an office. Hello. Kijiwatarai, lost in thought, staring at nothing. Nope, come, come on. I'm trying to... Tr come on, Ren. There we go. It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout the re this region. Rather than returning people to water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. That's super fucked. It was the role of shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories of the dying and thereafter return to the water themselves. 
In doing so, it was believed the subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would inter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related, uh, but notably, the monks would survive, but the women would not. But what did the maidens who became pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld, or the, the hereafter, is located. Some, te some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where others claim it lies underground, within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain, it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living, frozen in time. It's thought, that the, it's thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. I, I mean, it, they're not wrong, I guess, at this point. What's up? What? Bookshelf is piled with more books than it can hold. Can't make it out any of the old writing or written. Does it make any sense that Ren can't read any most of the things around him? I saw a silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way up, her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered, were murdered here, were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water. Would that then imply they are trapped within the mist? Isn't this what they wanted, though? I'm pretty sure one of the notes said that they'd help those near death, but then they'd also eventually die, them, return to water themselves. So isn't... It's kind of what they were planning on. Oh, piece of can't... I can't... I, I, okay, wants me to pick something else up first, I guess. The ladder leads up to the attic, just in, just like in the last part of the video. Now can I pick this up? Yes. I had to see that first. I don't know why it was important for me to see that before I picked up that item. But the game's like, nah, you gotta look at this ladder, bro. Have you seen this ladder? It's great. I want to see this one. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop. Can we even get a... Like, it's either a cutscene attack... I hear something. Do I have to let go? I feel like they could make a small game. Oh, no! What the? The ghost left a notebook behind when it disappeared, except the notebook was there before the ghost attacked. They could probably make, like, an offshoot game of just, like, that mechanic of slowly moving the camera around a spooky place and you have to let go to, like, dodge the ghosts. It would, it would probably be okay. Mount Hakami seems to have been both revered and feared as a mountain of death, where only those prepared to die may enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where, the sh where shrine maidens kept strict watch and allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today, the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn, whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The record from the shrine's final year lists one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso. After taking his postmortem photographs, it seemed he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I've heard that his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop, to develop a special camera. If I could see these photos of the Shrine Maidens taken with a special camera, I'm certain I could come closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Hikami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. 
Couldn't he grow Asa? Was Dr. Asa somehow involved in this? Well, obviously, yes. Mist is pouring into the room. That's not a good sign. I should get out of here. 